All right, guys, Justin Jam Diagnostics again. We're gonna cover a, a common test procedure. What we're going to be looking for is we're going to be looking at the amperage on the coils on a Ford truck. What we're looking for, we're gonna show is how to tell when one is having a problem and how to identify which one that is. Now we start that with a diagnostic process. Now my diagnostic process, we're assuming on this vehicle, it's not on this one, it's a brand new vehicle, it doesn't have any problems. But we're assuming that it's coming in, it's probably got a misfire, running problem, and we're trying to determine if we have a problem with an ignition system or maybe it's something else. And so we're wanting to eliminate ignition as the problem, and this is the test we're going to use for that. So what we do, the first thing I get is a wiring diagram so I can tell how the system's laid out. Uh, this is brand new for it's 2017 F-150 with a 2.7 liter. Now what we're looking for here is what powers the coils, all of them at once. And that happens to be this fuse right here. And I followed the diagram over here to where it feeds all six coils. So this fuse right here is where we're gonna tap into to do our testing for all the coils. And then we're gonna also sync with one of the coils. And that's gonna be on this, this one here, cylinder number one. Now I'd recommend laying a diagram out like this getting yourself some markers so you can follow it through and know exactly where you're at. This is a pretty simple one, but over here I was doing some stuff with the cam and crank sensors and that's gonna be another video. And that's what all this other coloring's about. But definitely wanna get yourself wiring diagrams and don't try to guess your way through this. So let's go over to the vehicle. I've already set up the connections for our scope. Scope is over here, we'll get to that. What we need to do is we're, we're on fuse 99. Fuse 99 on the diagram shows us we're right here. So I take this tool here and bought this from AES Wave. What it does is it takes the place of the fuse. You put the fuse in there so you're still protected. And now we can clamp around that wire and get the amperage that's going through that wire. And this little pigtail here allows you to get the voltage at the same time, at the same connection. So now we need to turn on our amp clamps. Always zero your clamps. Down here is cylinder number one. I'm on the power feed wire here. So we're gonna zero that one. This connection right here is for the trigger control to fire this coil. We're on a ground connection here with our two leads. We've already set up our scales. And now we're gonna start the vehicle and we're gonna look at what we got for a pattern. I'll stop it, we'll look at it, and then we'll capture again with the coil unplugged. trace that's all of our coils showing at once the green trace is each time cylinder number one's amperage is there and the yellow trace is the trigger our voltage is up here and if you've watched my relative compression test video it's the same principle we can invert that pattern and scale into it and it'll look very similar to the amperage draw because it's the reverse of the, the voltage so now we stop it here, we'll, we'll just zoom in. So you can see right here, we have our trigger on cylinder number one, our amperage, and same thing over here, we minimize this so you can see it. And in between, we have all of the firings of all the other coils. So if one of these looked a little off, which we're gonna simulate now, then we would need to determine which one that is, and I'll show you how we do that. Disconnected one of the coils. Then you just, now you can see one's missing in the pattern here. That's the one that is our misfire because we have a coil that's either not hooked up or whatever. It, it'll be a different pattern if the coil's breaking down or shorting. But just so we, we're looking at how we can determine which one of those that is, 
that's what this is about. So now we zoom in again. And so we have, this is number one. You get yourself the firing order. And so we have our cylinders laid out like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, pretty standard for Ford. And our firing order is one, four, two, five, three, six. So it's one, four is missing and the rest are there. So our problem would be on cylinder number four. And that's how we determine which coil is bad using amperage. Thanks for watching my video again. Um, this was my neighbor's truck. I want to give a shout out to him for letting me use it. Uh, really appreciate it. Thanks.